So why don't you come right in? Come on. So come right in and let the whales play a part in your life. The next move to change Australia by opening it to the world was just as big a shock. This was the introduction of foreign banks to add competition to the financial sector. By early 1984, a number of things had come together to lift Paul Keating's confidence enormously. He believed himself to be more in control of events. He was indeed more in, in control of events. And that, I think, emboldened him to, to take additional measures. And, and one major product in 1984 was uh, the uh, extra bank licences for the foreign banks. The issue of foreign bank entry was a very difficult one for the Labor Party. At the same time, it was one Keating was determined to succeed with. It really surprises me that some people in this party think we owe Westpac something, or the ANZ Bank, or the National. That really surprises me. But let me say this to you. Let me, let me say this to you. What, let me say this to you. The argument came to a head at Labor's July 1984 National Conference. Keating tackled head-on the Labor Party's traditional opposition to the entry of foreign banks. Keating has never lacked courage. And to change the platform of the Labor Party is uh, uh, an enormously uh, difficult, time-consuming and divisive task. And uh, he's been successful. Now, prior to the Hawke government, uh, to do that uh, was the equivalent of stealing the holy water from the church. If you want to start talking about equity and fairness, you better start with unemployment. But you can't do it with a sick economy. Banking is the artery of the economy. And we've had hardening of the arteries for too long in this country. He was very good in then getting people to come to an acceptance of changed positions. He was very good at this. He was so certain about uh, what he said. He uh, was charming. He was humorous. He was absolutely devastating and derisory of anyone that argued against him. There's no doubt about it, whether you like it or, or not. Uh, Hawke and Keating... Uh, revolutionised the financial and fiscal system. 